Hello everyone! Welcome back to our new video lesson. For this video lesson, we will talk about evaluation of functions. Okay, for evaluation of functions, evaluation of function is a process of calculating the value of function of x or f of x or y for given values of x. So, kung given yung value na x, we will identify or determine the value of y or the f of x. So, the y is the dependent variable while x is the independent variable. So, yung letter y natin is considered to be dependent variable. So, siya ay dumidepende sa value ng x natin. So, sa value ng letter x. The process is done by substituting the numerical values of x to the given function. So, this will include the substitution method wherein a certain value will be substituted to the variable x and we will solve by applying the rules on uh, the order of operation which is PEMDAS. So parenthesis exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, so let's have now example number one. So if f of x is equal to 2x minus 3, evaluate the f of negative 2 and f of so, we will have two solutions for this example. So, solution for the f of negative 2 and another solution for f of 3. So, let's have the first one. So, let's copy first our uh, function notation, which is f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. So, replace x and substitute negative 2. So, this will be f of negative 2 is equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 3. So, in this case, we will apply the PEMDA. So, we will do first multiplication before the subtraction. So, 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4. And then, copy minus 3. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. So, if the value of x is negative 2, the value of y is negative 7. For the second solution, we will have now f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 3. So, that will be 2 multiplied to 3, and that is 6. Then, copy negative 3 or minus 3. Then, we have 6 minus 3. That will be 3. If x is 3, the value of y is also 3. Then, let's have an example number 2. So, if f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 3. So, meron tayong dalawang x in this case. So, yung unang x natin will be raised to the second power, and the second x will be multiplied to negative 5. So, evaluate the f of 5. So, let's copy our function notation. So, we have f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 3. Then, remove x and substitute 5. So, f of 5 is equal to 4 times 5 squared minus 5 times 5 plus 3. So, in this case, we will do first the evaluation of the exponent. So, again, uh, as we recall, the order of operation, so ang ating acronym doon ay PEMDAS. PE, parenthesis and exponent, then MD, multiplication and division, and then AS, addition and subtraction. So we'll have to evaluate first 5 to the second power. And ang evaluation natin ng 5 to the second power, that is equal to 5 multiplied to itself. So that is 5 times 5, and that is equal to 25. So we will multiply 5 twice to itself. So, let's proceed. So, we will have f of 5 is equal to 4 times 25 minus 5 times 5. We have 25 also plus 3. And then 4 times 25, that is 100. Copy negative 25, copy plus 3. So, kung makapansin nyo, hindi muna natin in-add yung 25 plus 3 kasi that will be wrong. So, maling i-add yung 25 plus 3. Kailangan mauna muna yung ating operation from left to right. So, unahin natin yung 100 minus 25, saka pa lang yung plus 3. Okay, so 100 minus 25, that is 75, and then plus 3, so that will be equal to 78. So, the f of 5 is equal to 78. And now, uh, let's have example number 3. So, f of x is equal to x squared plus 2. So, in this case, our value of x is a fraction. So, it will be just the same as the previous example. 
Tatanggalin lang yung x, papalitan natin ng 1 half. Then, we will apply the operation on fraction. So, dapat medyo master natin yung operation on fractions. So, f of x is equal to x squared plus 2. So, tanggalin ng letter x, palitan natin ng 1 half. So, that will be f of 1 half is equal to 1 half to the second power or 1 half squared plus 2. So, yung 1 half squared natin, ang equivalent niyan ay 1 half multiplied by 1 half. So, that will be 1 half times 1 half. And that will be numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. So, therefore, ang equivalent ng 1 half squared ay 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. So, that will be 1 fourth plus 2. So, simply lang yan, 1 fourth plus 2, 2 and 1 fourth. So, the answer for the f of 1 half is equal to 2n, 1 over 4. Okay, so let's have no example number 4. So, in this case, instead of using f, we use the variable g. So, wala namang problema dyan. We can use any letter in the alphabet to represent a function. So, binigyan ko lang kayo ng example na pwede namang gamitin kahit anong letter aside from letter f. So, we have now g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. And then, evaluate g of negative 4. So, kung mapapansin, medyo complex yung ating operation kasi meron tayong operation above the fractional bar and operation below the fractional bar. So, it only indicates a grouping symbol. So, isosolve natin separately muna yung uh, operations in the numerator and then, then yung operation in the denominator. And then, if possible, we will divide. Okay, so copy our function notation. So we have g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Then tanggalin yung letter x, palitan natin ng negative 4. So we will substitute negative 4 to the variable x. So g of negative 4 is equal to 2 times negative 4 plus 1. So tinanggal yung x, pinalitan ng negative 4. Sa baba, we have negative 4 minus 1. Ganun din, tinanggal lang x, pinalitan ng negative 4. Then, evaluate the operation. So, unahin natin yung multiplication. So, we'll have here negative 8 plus 1. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Then, copy plus 1. Then, sinabay na natin yung ibaba kasi hindi naman maapektuhan yun eh. Dahil separate entity naman yung numerator saka yung denominator. So, simultaneously, sinabay na natin yung operation in the denominator. So, negative 4 minus 1, that is negative 5. So, isolve pa rin muna yung ibabaw. So, negative 8 plus 1, that is negative 7. And then, over negative 5. And then divide, that is negative divided by negative, so that is positive. Magiging positive yung sign natin. So a negative divided by a negative sign is also is uh, equivalent to positive. So that is 7 over 5, or simply, pagka reduce natin sa lowest term, it can be expressed as a mixed number. So that will be 1 and 2 fifth. Pag ginawa natin siyang mixed number. So 7 over 5, or 1 and 2 fifth. Example number 5, we have a of x. So, if a of x is equal to square root of x plus 1, so meron tayong square root symbol, evaluate a of 3. Okay, so we'll evaluate the a of 3. So, copy our function notation. So, a of x is equal to square root of x plus 1. Remove x and replace it with 3. So, we have 3 plus 1. Evaluate 3 plus 1, so that will be square root of 4. And then, the square root of 4 is equivalent to 2. So, the answer is and then, for our practice problem, so ito yung practice problem natin. So, anong gagawin natin dito? So, you will compute this on your scratch paper or notebook. Yung sagot, i-comment nyo sa comment box below. Okay? So, you will write your answer on the comment box below. So, dalawa yung answer natin dito. So, one for the function of negative 3 and one for the function of 2. So, our practice problem is if f of x is equal to x squared, plus 2x minus 4. So, evaluate f of negative 3 and f of 2. So, comment down your answer in the comment box. And that will be all for this video lesson. So, see you again on the next video.